Hello everybody, welcome back to New Horizons and today as promised in our last episode I'm going to take a look at our power setup so I want to get some power set up for our new base and we're having a bit of a problem with our biodiesel plant anyway which I'm just going to go and show you which is kind of going to make our decision as to where we go for power so one other thing we've got to know is the pollution so we've got 350,000 at the moment but down here we are making way too much charcoal and I've upgraded all the storage but I could upgrade it further and keep storing charcoal or I could just throw it away or something but we need to produce LV power for our new base now the pyrolyzed oven does make a funny noise doesn't it I always think there's a plane flying over my head or something when I'm listening to that. So yeah, what I'm thinking of doing is trying to use up this excess charcoal. So here yeah, we can compress it into blocks of charcoal and we can put it in like the bricked blast furnace in our old base and things like that. But I want to get power out of it. So if we have a look on our quest book and we go to multi-block goals. I think oh, we've got a quest to hand in actually, which was our scanner. So they, that's quite good, but so is the loot bag. So I love I love a loot bag. Um, I'm having a look at these here. So we've got two quests to do, multi-block ones. Well, we've got a few actually. We've got to compress all the things: the implosion compressor, time to drill for oil, and the air filter. That's something we might have to look at for pollution. Now, if we go for the bronze boiler and the firebox, this creates a thousand pollution per second. So we might need to run an air filter or something as well. There's also the steel boiler, which makes 2000 pollution a second. And I would imagine it's a lot more productive. What do we produce? 40,000 litres of steam with one coal. 40,000 litres a second coal. Now, will charcoal work on these? Oh, didn't mean to flash press that. Um, solid fuels with a burn value that's too high or too low will not work. Right. How do I know what the burn value is? Let me read this. Let's strip structure guidelines. Um, I actually don't know if we're going to be able to burn it because I don't know what the burn value needs to be. Yeah, we know it could explode if it runs out of water. Diesel fuels are a quarter efficiency. So the fuels with a burn value that is too high, too low will not work. That's what it tells us. So how do I know what the burn value needs to be? I mean, the other type of boiler we could use, let's just see what loot we get. Okay, farm gearbox. Uh, we have another type of boiler in our base. Let's just grab some charcoal. Yeah, I'm just a little bit concerned now. If I make this and it doesn't work, then what? So we've got this type of boiler. It definitely works. 
So charcoal works in this. So we could rehome this one otherwise. So should we just do the quest and see if it works? And if it doesn't work, we'll come and dismantle this one and put that in there. Because this will burn off our excess charcoal we're making. Okay, yeah, let's do it. It'd be another quest to get done anyway. Right, so what we're we going to need, um, I need to get rid of some of this charcoal. Throw it needs to be compressed. Okay, so bronze fiber casings, plates, rods, and a frame box. Frame box just rods on program four. So five. We are making some rods. I think it's twenty five we're going to need to put in there. Okay, so that will craft our frame boxes. Add this to our bookmarks, hopefully. Okay, so now we can see what we're doing. So plates, more rods, and more plates. We should have enough of these. I think, yeah, we've got a stack up there. Let's take those. Grab a stack of plates. All right, we don't need six, I think we only need five, so. Let's take one of those out. Marsh bronze boiler. So we need four MV circuits, fourteen cables, and a bronze firebox casing which we just made. Let's go and grab some tin cables. Do we have circuits up here or are they all downstairs? Is it just these ones? Yeah. Okay. Right, we should be good to make this. Um, in fact, we can use this crafting table here. I like this Shift and S feature we now have we can just go straight from the bookmark okay so we've made one of those oh that completes the quest we haven't made the rest of it yet that's all optional but we still need to make them because what are the structure guidelines by 
bottom layer three minimum inner three blocks casing blocks okay maintenance hatch yes we've got to make all this stuff anyway if we want to make one so bronze pipe casing I'm just going to go and bookmark everything we need all these we have made before Okay, so we're going to need more frame boxes. So three more frame boxes for that. What do these need? Okay. I just realised it is night time as well. So we're going to need a few more frame boxes. Those ones you can use, but these you can't. We can do it this way though. Okay, so ponds through pipes. So we're going to need 12 of those. Plates, we should have enough. Okay, looks like we're out of bronze fluid pipes. Unless there's any hiding anywhere anywhere else. Ah, three. That's not many. We use our MV extruder for these. How many do we actually need? Oh, only 12. Okay, we'll have a couple left over. I could make some more, but I don't think we're going to need it for anything else. the casings ah, block of double compressed charcoal maybe that's what it runs on so it might run on normal charcoal uh, bronze plated bricks so bricks and plates in an assembler how are we doing on bricks
What just happened there? What? What the? What is that? Where is my? There it is. I don't know what happened there. That was really strange. I'm guessing my inventory just hadn't recognised I was holding them yet. So I think I need 32. Oh yeah, definitely going to need more plates. So shift and left click if it doesn't come up like these do. Uh, actually. We have it to use. Mm. Probably going to break our wrench, but. Have we not got another wrench? I know I could use the assembler, but. Okay, it seems like we've ended up with 37 rather than 32. <laughs> oh well, that's enough. Okay, so the other thing we're going to need are all our hatches. Alright, rather than watch me craft all these, I'm just going to go away and quickly do that and I'll be right back. So, see you guys in a second. Hi, right, welcome back again and we have now crafted everything we need. So, we've got the input and output hatches. We've got the input bus, muffler hatch and maintenance hatch, along with all the other bits we just crafted up. So we're ready to go. We're ready to build this thing. Well, almost ready. We've got to go and find somewhere to build it first. So off we go. Let's go and have a look. So obviously it's going to have to be somewhere around our biodiesel plant because that is where we're making all this excess charcoal at the moment which I'd imagine is going to get worse and worse as we expand this place and increase our fuel production. So we've also got to be aware this thing will make pollution. So I don't want it on top of my crops. Obviously we've got a huge rape farm in here. Behind we have salty roots, not many, but there's a few. We don't need many for this. Um, we are increasing our production for our different crops in our new IC2 area, so I can upgrade a lot of these soon. Here I'm thinking I'm going to expand our rape setup and move the bonsais to behind as well. So there's no pollution when we get here, but if we build this new structure we're going to cause a lot of pollution so where are we going to put it what about if we extend the whole base over not the base you know like the power setup we should be producing plenty of water as well from from these water tanks so we might be able to harness some of that for the boilers um i'm thinking we could build like this again with the chimney for the boiler i like the chimney so what if we put another one over here Let's have a look at the chunks. Well, we're so far away, there's not going to be any pollution anyway, as we know. So we don't want to build in this chunk because we've got crops in there. Um, pollution does spread to neighbouring chunks, so shall we move it to this one? So we've got a chunk in between. Is that going to be enough? Just wondering how far the pyrolyzed oven pollution spreads. So the neighbouring chunk is a lot lower, but it does have pollution. Yeah, and then the one after, nothing. So if we leave a gap, so in other words, don't build in this one, but we're building this one, which is an eerie biome. I have no idea what the eerie biome does.
but we could use this to build in and that leaves a bit of space in between as well um, yeah because otherwise if we build in this one it's going to pollute the crops again it's not too bad it's, the pyrolyzed oven causes pollution but not how much pollution does that pyrolyze make pyro let's have a look 300 per second so we're going to build something that does a thousand per second so it's three times the pollution okay that decides it we're going to put it over here um i better do a bit of prep for this because this could take a while yeah we'll do some video editing and start building this area i want to try and get it all done in one episode so we want the power up and running right let's get on with it be back shortly
Hi right, guys, I'm back and I have finished building the structure. So now I'm ready to go and place the multi block. I've got everything here ready. And yeah, let's see if we can get this thing built. I don't know if I'm going to run it yet because we need to set up a water supply as well, but let's see how we get on. Okay, so you, the building matches into the rest of the building. I've joined like a walkway with scaffolding. Well, it's not scaffolding, iron frame box. Looks like a scaffold. So this is where we're going to place it. I've got a little chimney built ready for it. So let's have a look at the structure guidelines. I've also set up a tank ready for the steam. What have we got? Left shift to display structure guidelines. So we've got control the front bottom. Bronze plate bricks casing. Bronze fireboxes. So we need three in the bottom layer, minimum. Bronze pipe casing blocks in a three. Range to attach any firebox. Muffler hatch any firebox. Okay, let's start with the controller, so let's just go front centre. Now how many of these did it need? I should have kept hold of this because I need this to, to check what I'm doing. We'll just leave that one there. So if we did those as the corners, then we're going to need an input hatch. Input bus. So that's going to bring our... Hang on, our input hatch is going to bring fluids in but we don't want to put fluids in we put items in so we're going to put input bus at the back we also need a maintenance hatch access accessible so we'll put it there uh, I'm going to put the input hatch around here I don't suppose we're going to use it, but it's actually in the wall if we do, do need to get to it. Inner three blocks. Hang on, has this got to be a lot bigger than this? So it's a three by five by three. That's fine. Bronze pipe casings are the oh okay, I get it. It's the inner three blocks. Right. So the bottom layer, bronze fire boxes minimum three. At the moment we have four. So let's put a casing there. So I need to place this one on top. We'll just place like so. I'm not sure if that has to be on the bottom layer or not. We might have to change that. Complete structure has problems. Okay, so I reckon let's change what we said. 
Or does it need to be one taller? It could need to be one taller, you know. Got pickaxe out. That doesn't belong there, so we've still got something not right. Hang on, we haven't even done our output hatch, have we? Or our muffler hatch. steam any casing okay I'm just gonna pop it at the back here then we need the muffler hatch at the top so we need to get it inside somehow um, you could drop down no I'm not going up that way there is a way inside from up the top but we'll do it from here So everything changed colour. Still says incomplete. It's very dark, isn't it, around here? These haven't changed colour. Just read the quest, see if that gives us any clues. Okay, so three by three by five structure of bronze pipe casings in the center of the middle three levels. Right, we've done that. The lowest level must contain at least one or two input hatches, one or two input buses. Three or four fire boxes, one muffler, and one maintenance hatch. The lowest level cannot contain any plated bricks. All hatches, buses, and mufflers must have their backside touching a fire box. The upper hatch will be placed on any of the upper four levels. Right. It's not very straightforward this, is it? What was one we made with the bricks in? I thought it was the, the actual boiler itself. Maybe that can't go on the bottom level. No, bronze plated bricks are these. And didn't we put one right at the bottom in the middle? Let me have a look underneath. Yep, yeah, we did. So we remove that. And... I don't know what we're going to put there. Perhaps. 
perhaps the alpha hatch. Lowest level, must contain at least one or two input hatches, one or two input buses, three or four five boxes. One muffler, why would the muffler be on the bottom? Surely that would be at the top. Which is... Because that's got to let the pollution out, surely. Alpha hatch can go on any of the upper four levels. Okay, we're there. It was that muffler that was confusing me. I don't know why it goes on the bottom and not the top. Never mind. Alright, so this is going to be the output. Let's make an opening at the back. We have our large protein fluid pipe ready to go. And we might have to readjust this a little bit. Didn't want that there. Right, so that is done. Obviously we've got to do our maintenance issues. Yeah, just need a couple more tools to finish that off. And we should be good to go and start. Now we've got to run some water. Once we've done the other maintenance, we need to run some water in there, or oh, it's going to go bang. So that'll be our input that we've put on the side. Let's just make a little shortcut out here. So, where is it there? Input hatch. Right, so we need to input water through here. Um, let's get that sorted out. And uh, yeah, I'll be right back again. One second, guys. Okay, so I've placed a water tank. We've run it in with our little theme we've got going on. Well, I haven't completely finished it yet. I've got to do the surrounding blocks, but we've done the water. 
So it looks like it's feeding the tank. It isn't, of course. This is just rainwater. I'm just concerned whether or not we're going to actually produce enough water for this boiler. I have let it fill up. Um, hopefully, it's going to work. We just need, it still has problems. We've got to do the maintenance, but I'll wait until we've got everything ready. So let's just hook up everything we need. We might have to turn it off again quick because I don't want it exploding. Alright, it won't start yet because of the maintenance issues, but. Let's just feed it some charcoal and see what happens. I need a conveyor, which are not in there. Where are they? Here we go. Just taking a stack, I saw it go. Let's race it back to the boiler. <laughs> okay, so that should have gone in here. Yep, there we go, it's in. Our water is still filling. So we've got 16,000 litres in the input hatch. Plus each bit of pipe has another 2,000 litres in, and this is still filling up. This doesn't have a great deal in it yet. Um, but we're going to go for it. Now, I think we had, yeah, soft mallet there. Platings are dented still. Is it the other hammer we need? Um, I think we've got that as well. Yeah. Okay, so that's running. We just need to turn it on when we're ready. I really hope this doesn't explode. Um, I suppose the only way we're going to find out is to turn it on. Oh, we've got achievement, extreme pressure. Right, let's keep an eye on this water. Looks like we're keeping up with it. And we're producing more steam. <laughs> Not that we want steam anymore, but I needed to find a use for this charcoal. And hopefully we're going to burn through loads of it. I was so worried it was going to explode. This is going down, though. I think we're using more water than we're producing. Yeah, we are. So, we'll have to change this, either that or increase its water supply. We can't produce enough, not with one water tank. We might have to pipe some more in from our other water tanks, or build some more, of course. We've got plenty of space here to do that. So, I'm going to turn the machine off again. We don't want it blowing up. Yeah, so that's refilling again. Okay, so we've, look how quick that filled up. How much steam we produced. This is a steel tank as well. That's a lot in that short time. All right. Well, I'll say that was a successful mission. We've completed our quest. And we've increased our... Oh, it's the wrong thing. Our power production. 
So this one here. So let's claim our rewards. Open our loot bags. Glass string and some tin cables. Well, that's pretty successful. We've got it up and running. We've done another multi-block quest. And once we provide it with more water, that will provide us more steam than we can handle. So we only want it for running our LV machines anyway in our new base. So that would be more than sufficient, I hope. Yeah. All right, I'll leave that on there. Thank you for watching, guys. Please leave me some comments, let you know. Let me know, rather, what you think. Um, yeah. And don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So, yep, we'll be back soon for some more GTNH. And we'll see you soon. Bye for now, everyone. Right, so I've made a few more alterations to the setup, and as you can see, we've got power up and running now, and I've added a water tank as well. So I've done this because it uses a lot of water, basically, and I want a buffer, and I want to be able to visually see that buffer and make sure we don't run out of water. If there's a problem, I want to know about it. So our water tank was not enough, so I did another one. That was still wasn't enough. So I've opted for a simple sterling water pump and this is backed up by both of these as well and also this tank. So the water pump and the two tanks feed this tank which in turn obviously feed the bronze boiler. We are suffering from pollution. Um, as you can see we are doing fine off the water. That is staying full. Full full filled up whichever whatever you want to say so yeah we're charging up some batteries we've got 16 batteries in it they're all charging at once i'll put them all in together and yeah we're holding steam no problem tank staying full so we should be able to run quite a bit off of this yeah there you go that's just my updated version let me know what you think and we'll see you again soon guys don't forget to like and subscribe and yeah, leave me some comments. Bye for now, everyone.